Hello, this is an instructional video on how to edit your portfolio settings. Adjusting your portfolio settings is crucial because this is your way of telling the AI about yourself. In other words, by keeping your settings up to date, you are customizing the AI algorithm to meet your needs and to perform tasks in line of what you are looking for. The first thing is editing your portfolio title. If you click the edit button, you will see a pop-up text window where you can change the text for your portfolio. If you're satisfied with your new title, all you have to do is click the save button. The second thing is selecting your universe of securities. In the first step of creating your portfolio, you select whether or not you have a stock, ETF, mutual fund portfolio, or a crypto in Forex portfolio. After selecting one of the two options, you can choose whether or not you want these type of securities in your portfolio. This means whether or not you want Tikron's artificial intelligence to suggest positions based on these categories. If you want suggestions for good ideas to invest in mutual funds or ETFs and stocks, you want to click all three of these checkboxes. Same thing goes for crypto and Forex. The last section is whether or not you have an active and a passive portfolio. Both of the options are pretty similar between a passive and an active portfolio. There are only a few different options. But first, before I get into it, the difference between an active and a passive portfolio is whether or not you make trades within three months. This means if you're a passive investor, probably maybe somebody looking for retirement or having a 401k portfolio, you're going to wait at least three months before making any change or any trade. Same thing goes for active, which means you're constantly making changes, meaning that you're probably going to trade within three months. The first thing is asking whether or not diversification is important to you. The second step is asking what your risk level tolerance is. Chances are, if you're an aggressive investor, you can, you can tolerate up to about a 20% loss. On the other hand, if you're a conservative investor, you can probably only tolerate up to a 5% loss in your portfolio. The third step is asking how many years are you going to wait until pulling money out of your portfolio. This step is asking whether or not you are, this is a retirement portfolio. Here, you are going to select your state of residence. Now, when it comes to cash reserves, this means do you have enough money on hand to cover your living expenses for more or less than 12 months? This means do you have enough money saved up to cover all expenses if you didn't receive any income for a year? The two unique settings are the approximate minimum percentage per position and the percentage per rebalance. The approximate minimum percentage per position is the lowest percentage you want an investment to represent in your portfolio's value. So let's say for instance, that you own stock in Apple, and you wanna make sure that it represents at least 5% of your total portfolio's value, but no less. In this case, you would simply set the minimum percentage at, to at least 5%. Now for the second step, every investor knows that markets continually fluctuate. When it comes to managing a portfolio, that means that the percentage you allocate to each position also change constantly. For example, if you start on day one with 50% Apple stock and 50% in IBM, you may find that a month later that Apple is now 60% and IBM is 40% of your portfolio. This rebalance feature helps you manage these fluctuations by allowing you to create an alert if one of your positions change by a certain percentage. Here, you can choose how much market volatility you can handle. As you can see, it ranges from a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 being the highest. The last step is very simple. This is asking whether or not you are planning on adding money to your portfolio. Just make sure that after you make your changes, you click the save button so that it gets updated. 